Welcome to my channel, baby. Sip sensibility. Welcome to my channel, baby. Sip sensibility. Hey, this is Sensibility Speaks. Thanks for stopping by and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. thinkers and sensibilities let's get into this most recent round of utter bullshiggity okay as it relates to Ariane Carey for my man Carey so as I'm listening to this most recent dropping of audio from nay of original straight no chaser I say you know what I ain't even doing no video on Ariane I'm so done just done done with it right but I was like, no, let me weigh in and give a couple, two, three cents of my commentary. So the gag of it all is that at a certain part in the audio, this bed bug, this delusional bird brain had the nerve to say, I didn't know how much I affected and impacted Melody Cherie's life. Girl, if you're sleeping with the girl husband for up 10 years, okay, and you knew he was damn married, how did you think it was going to impact her life? She had a whole husband. He had a whole wife and children, kids, multiple children. How did you not think that you fucking her husband would not affect her in some type of way back then? But let's be clear. She can give zero Fs about you. Be clear on that. Her only concern with you is you're around her children and that you treat them respectfully like the maid and the mammy and the meal that you are, okay? Making sure that you... Feed them organic food as you feed yourself. The lie you told. We know she has to have meal prep and meal drop-offs because y'all broke ass can't feed them damn kids. Ciao. But the real kicker is she mentioned how her ex-boyfriend cheated on her. Her daughter Paris' baby's father. Okay? Her first child. So I had heard in the streets quite some time ago that you were the side chick then that he had a whole girlfriend at another college or wherever she was. And I think that's his now wife. I don't know how true that is. Y'all can drop that in the comments and tell me if I'm wrong. So you had the nerve to say, you know, Nay, I've grown so much. You know, I was just so mad at first that I just couldn't apologize to Melody because I was just so angry and so self-absorbed, blah, blah, blah. But, you know, I've been in her shoes before. I've been hurt before. No, the gag is you were probably cheating with your first baby daddy when he had a girlfriend back then and you spitefully had a baby to try to keep him being that spiteful at your young age while you're in college trying to better yourself okay to become that future nurse that you claim and purported that you wanted to be as opposed to that you all wrapped up into boys i mean hey it's college you do what you do but not having enough foresight to know damn me having a baby by this young boy ain't gonna keep him. What was your mammy, your grandmama, your auntie, your older sisters? Nobody imparted this knowledge onto her. But you know, you have to have a certain level of disdain for sisters and fellow women. So she is always in competition with women. Always. Many of us have said this before. So not only was she in competition with parents' his father's now wife back then, okay, She's also in competition with Melody Sharif. We get that. We know that. It doesn't take a rocket scientist to see that. But here's the sicker part of it. And so you felt like that you lost back then, okay? But you vowed that, you know what? Somebody took my man. So here's the thing. He was never your man. You were the side chick back then too, allegedly. And in, in my opinion, okay? So you vowed, say, so you know what? Somebody in your delusional mind took your man. So you say, you know what? F all chicks, F all itches, I'm going to take somebody else's damn man, okay? F it. I'm just going to do what I got to do, and I'm going to take somebody else's. So you can never trust a broad who's that male-identified, that male-centered to where everything is about a man. You know, everything is about a guy. Everything is about a man. So you're in competition with Melody, and so you're trying to make Melody pay for the fact that you lost Paris's father, Okay? You're trying to make her pay for that because you admitted that you had little knocks out of spite. You had them out of spite because you said 
had that show never occurred, never aired, or there was no love in Mary Chantsville, whatever. And they're just pillars of the community, millionaires, her and Martel being that power couple as they were due to Melody Cherie's brain power. Okay. They were that power couple. But here's the thing. You said Melanie and Martell, had it not been for the show, would have still been together. And you wouldn't have had that baby. So you spitefully had that baby because in your deluded mind, you were thinking, you know what? Well, I'm loving hip hop and the ghetto of it all. And loving hip hop, Jocelyn came onto the show and Mimi allowed her to air and tell her story. Trick, Mimi found some no damn executive producer of the show. She was just a damn cast member like everybody else, like Scrappy Erica stevie j and everybody else back then she was a cast member she ain't calling no shots of who gonna be on the damn show melody sheree is the muse and the reason for love and marriage chanceville this is her show she damn near the creator of it okay because it was her getting with carlos we know the history do you really think somebody gonna let your simple ass come on the show that they helped create or create it to tell how you was fucking a husband so you can be like nah nah i took your man <laughs> my eyes closed you silly trick. You're just a damn cum dumpster to him, okay? And you even said in the video how you just felt like you were a pacifier to Martel. Duh, okay? Because see, Nay played a little audio clip back when he was on Ministry with that Chanel Scott about a year ago with her male identified silly ass, okay? Well, she, <laughs> Martel, that chick, right? And so he admitted then, oh, she's just a 15%. Remember Delicious had asked him, no, well, what about in the back call? You said that your wife was 85% and then your side chick was a 15. You damn near admitted she was a peasant then and how you wish you could wind back the hands of time and never have met her ass. But you so ego maniacal, need your damn ego stroke 24-7 with your subpar malignant narcissistic R's. But you know, I ain't getting off too deep into that. We know Martel ain't rap too tight. And he's a narcissist. But in your deluded mind to think, you know what? I'm going to take this lady husband because somebody took my first baby daddy, who you tried to take from her, but he decided to spend a block back to his now wife, his girlfriend. I think they were high school sweethearts. I'm talking about Paris's baby daddy child. You can't make nobody pay for the fact that that man ain't won't be with you. Shit. And then you said that you felt like Martel could guide and lead you, but you feel like you're stringing him along. Yeah, because y'all are evil twin flames. You're both sick and sadistic and insidious. You're sick in the head, the two of you together. It's a dangerous combination. Very dangerous, okay? And so for you to say, oh, Melody's bossed up. She's bossed up. you damn right she bossed up. She was a boss when she was with him, and she's an even bigger boss now that she ain't with his ass. And the fact that you admitted that, so low-key, you secretly admire Melody. So you wanted to be with Martel, not just for him, but for the fact that you can say that I took this beautiful woman's husband, a pillar of the community, okay, down there walking on water, and that makes you feel good about yourself to say, you know what, if I can take that lady's husband, even though low-key, no, high key, we know she dumped his ass and gave him to you. Miss everything? Because let's face it, Melody Sheree is a force to be reckoned with. So in your sick mind and you competing with women, thinking if I can take him from her, then that validates my existence. Because deep down, you don't really feel good about yourself. You feel less than, okay? Because you're shallow. You're no more than what you see in the mirror. And then that's not even real because you got filters on half the damn time because you're not happy with who you really are. Be yourself, chick. Child, goddamn 10 years a slave. But anyway, so she's in competition with Melody and want everybody to pay. And then you said how Martel was supposed to guide and lead you because you didn't have a father figure and had you had a father that you wouldn't have been with Martel. And so Nate egging you on. And so, but let me get back to Nay. So every time it seems like she's trying to turn a corner and have a little small morsel of accountability and taking responsibility, which we know doesn't last long, Nay kind of steer her back. Well, no, well, no, Arion. Because remember, you know, they let Jocelyn come on Love and Hip Hop and she got to tell her story. So again, every time she tries to say, I didn't do the right thing. They wanted me to apologize. My publicist wanted me to apologize to Melody, but I refuse to do it. Now I'm not putting that on Nay. That's all Arion. She didn't want to apologize because deep down she had zero remorse because she's hateful as fuck. She's hateful. 
So no, you don't have no remorse. You purposely had that baby. You purposely did everything. But back to Nay, but it seems like every time Arion wanted to take a little snippet of responsibility for something, you always turn in the corner, turning her back around. And maybe you were trying to egg her on so she could keep talking, Nay. I don't know what that was about, but I was like, oh, child. But anyway, we've all heard videos of how she said, you know, I took Martell with my eyes closed. <laughs> So you feel like you won. No, you didn't win anything because Melody gave the Negro to you. She gave the Bamba to you. But what prize do you have? What do you have? Okay. You're living in Section 8 housing. I ain't putting nobody down in Section 8, but I'm just saying. You thought you were going to live on a big house on the hill overlooking a golf course the way Melody and Martell did. Okay. When they were living that opulent, lavish life, which Melody's still living on a house on the hill. But at the time, conjointly as a family unit, they were living like that. You thought you were just going to pluck her out of her house and just step on in like a single black female and become a Melody Cherie. You sick, twisted trick. You're just as sick as you can be. Oh, you're just as sick as you can be. Ooh, child, she's just as dense as she can be. But just imagine suspecting and knowing that she really wasn't good enough and that she was the 15 percent and she's just relishing in the fact that she can have a piece of man with the hopes of being able to totally win him over by any means necessary imagine being called a peasant and being called less than and deep down him validating the fact that you thinking that you're less than and he treating you like you're less than putting you up on the shelf pulling you down when he wants you to open your mouth and spread your damn legs and bend the fuck over, okay? When he wants you to do all that, and then putting you back on the shelf, hiding you out in hotels, sneaking time away to spend time with you. Just imagine being called less than on national TV, a peasant by a man like that, who less than his goddamn self. So how low can you be to where you let someone who's damn near the gum beneath somebody's shoe call you less than? You two peas in the pot, you manifested that Bama, and guess what, Martell? You manifested her, okay? Child, y'all gonna be back in Terry Heights before you know it, Martell. Y'all gonna be back in Terry Heights. And then allegedly people said that they got to fighting at the gym. He beat her ours at the gym. So if he really did that, I think we would have seen some footage. I don't know how true that is. I think they're just trying to drum up some type of drama to stay relevant, okay? But do I believe he lays hands on her? It gets physical with her on the level. I absolutely do. I absolutely do. But child, I just couldn't get over that video. But I'm just like, why are you so obsessed with this woman? But then you had the nerve to say that you and Jocelyn are not the same. No, Jocelyn is a trick too in my mind. I think she's a trick. But the only difference is she got to tell her story because she was effing around with Stevie J. Mimi and Stevie weren't married. Were they in a full-blown relationship, I think, engaged? Yes, okay. Did they have a child together? Yes. But honey, you came between, but honey, you wedged your little bed bug leeching ass in between a wife and a husband, okay? You wedged yourself in between. In your mind, I think you wanted to become a throuple, okay? And Martell weaponized you against Melody in attempts to keep you in line, triangulation. And I believe he throws Melody in your face every chance he gets because he knows that you'll never be a Melody, Cherie. He knows what he's lost. And deep down, that's why you hate her. You stalk her and you emulate her because you know you can't be her and you want to be her. Child, anywho, I just figured I'd give my commentary. But y'all drop that in the comments and tell me what y'all think, honey, because that chick is a few fries short of a Happy Meal, okay? She's not the sharpest knife in the drawer nor the brightest crayon in the box. She doesn't have it all. Anyway, she knows exactly what she does. I don't feel sorry for her. I don't. Not in the least. But anyway, and also anytime Miss Wanda is on the side of right, you know you done came down bad. And y'all know what I'm talking about. Them speaking of what allegedly may have occurred with Melody as a child. I don't even want to get into that. I did a video on, on that and I didn't get too graphic with that because I think that's utterly disgusting. But for you to be that damn obsessed with that woman, the lows that you're willing to sink and the lows that you're willing to go, it has no bounds. And Martell is right down in the pits of hell and the two of you will burn up in it together. Anyway, this is Sensibility Speaks. Thanks for stopping by. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Okay? Bye-bye.